The Hospitals of Regina Foundation has issued an unconditional apology for jokes that were told at a fundraising event this past weekend. The Hospitals of Regina Foundation issued a statement following a controversial performance. Former Saturday Night Live comedian triggered strong reactions. Actor and comedian Rob Schneider. Comedian Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. In a statement, the foundation says, we do not condone, accept, endorse, or share Mr. Schneider's position. We do not condone, accept, endorse, or share Mr. Schneider's positions as expressed during his comedy set. The foundation says it offered an apology that night and reiterates this sincere and unconditional apology for any offense caused. Condemned Schneider's performance. The content, positions, and opinions expressed during Mr. Schneider's set do not align with the values of our foundation and team. The foundation responded swiftly, disassociating from Schneider's views and apologizing to the audience. And acknowledge that in this instance, the performance did not meet the expectations of our audience and our team. The organization said, while we recognize that in a free and democratic society, individuals are entitled to their views and opinions, and that comedy is intended to be edgy. It goes on to say it asked Schneider to cut his set short on Saturday night. I did some jokes about... Um that I do my stand-up back there, if I had a son, and if he sucked at sports like I did, and I wanted him to be a champion in victory, I said, well, just go, you know, I said, listen, it's not nice, but just go tell him, I want you to feel, you know, you know, you're losing to all the guys. I want you to go and tell the coach that you're, um, you're a girl, you know? And then, you know, no, 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 that's the best part. You get to keep your dick. You can keep the whole thing, <laughs> keep the whole thing. doesn't matter. No, just tell them. <laughs> and then they have to accept you. You just say it, you just say it. And, and they said, then you win, you, then you, you know, I do this thing. And anyway, it, it gets big laughs, but it's also like, that's what thing they complained about. And people were laughing at that outrageous, you know, humor. And I said, The Canadians were mad that the audience laughed? So one guy who was the same guy in all the com complaining. I really felt strongly after seeing many people, some were in tears, some were you know, incredibly upset um, people were leaving the room that I just said to myself, I, I can't sit by and do nothing. We were all here at Conexus uh, for an amazing event to support the Hospitals of Regina Foundation. The main act of the night was uh, Rob Schneider from TV, movies, whatever. He gave me COVID! Within probably 45 seconds, he, uh, you know, started sharing things about, you know, being, you know, very anti-vaccinations, um, very against trans folks, um, even quite a few misogynistic things, I would say. So I went up and, and asked to speak to the organizers of the event. At first, they were incredibly uh, dejective and sort of saying, well, we're not going to do anything. And we hired this guy and lots of people are laughing. So you know, why would we shut him down? And I sort of made a case. Not only is this completely inappropriate um, and, and, and offensive and, and really filled, filled with hatred. If we're just going to throw biological reality out, the truth, it could be, you know, not nice, but it's never hateful. Hatred. The truth, it could be, you know, not nice, but it's never hateful. Hatred. It could be, you know, not nice, but it's never hateful. Hatred. Not nice, but it's never hateful. Hatred. But it's never hateful. Hatred. Never hateful. Hatred. Um, but it's also, you know, the first day of pride. And uh, we have to recognize what that day means to people. Canadians are too polite. They don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, which ends up hurting everybody's feelings because then you, ha you end up having some, some uh, guy who loves China running your country. Exactly. Or China. So, so you, it's, I mean, Canada kind of took a, a turn that no one saw coming. I mean, unless they really listened to Trudeau yeah. before, he, his favorite country was China, you know? And um, you know what? It gives a lot of good ideas. China. And we're like, who's this? He just said that? And he still got elected? Justin Trudeau, the dictator of the North, yeah. he will um, have no problem trouncing on the rights of uh, Canadians who are protesting. You're not really going to vote for Trudeau, are you? Oh, yeah. So, but hopefully his days are numbered. You know? it's, it's tyranny, but with a smile. It's tyranny with a smile. And this a-hole, dick, cold, uh, cold weather dictator. The Canadian truckers, by the way, they saved our ass. 
because we were still locked down. All, all of the blue states were still locked down. The Biden administration was still clinging to yeah. their emergency powers. And Democrats saw a working class worker strike yeah. happening in Canada. A real one. A real one. Not a manufactured. And they were they were gonna come here and that's things magically opened up. And I'm I, w- I was making fun of Trudeau Canadians, not actual Canadians, yeah. but it was actually the Canadian truckers that retaught Americans hmm. how to protest to protest, how to be free, how to fight how tyranny. Yeah. And your rights, they are on a piece of paper. And unless they're backed by the will and by the the goodwill and by the people insist on it, it's just going to be a piece of paper. And so that's what happened in Canada. And um, those people's rights were were trounced upon. I mean, the, what happened to the truckers was so obscene. And it was like, I have very good friends in Canada. And I remember one of them saying, yeah, but they're honking horns. <laughs> yeah, but they're, it was for freedom. Yeah, yeah freedom, sorry. The fight for freedom is not going to be you know, horn sounding free, you know, it's going to, it's going to include some noise. Uh, so, but, but to take over the bank accounts, right. That was a, uh, that was a Rubicon that you wouldn't think would happen. You saw the Chinese system in practice. Like we're, we're going to debank you and we're going to give you really bad social credit scores. Yeah. I have nothing to apologize to you, Canada about if you know what you, I will consider an apology consider it when you apologize for what you did to those truckers and what you that 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 ugliness of not supporting those people who are risking everything to drive all the way across the country shut the country down so that that this tyranny could end and it it was a powerful movement and it was a movement not and and to not to to stand there and let your government officials call them terrorists yes that is uh, and put them in prison which they did disgraceful it is disgraceful. And so when you make that official apology, I'll talk about like uh, wh- how I felt and why I did certain jokes. And I have no apologies to you at all. And uh, I'm glad I did it. And I would do it again if you let me back in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Which I assume they won't. I will not be allowed back in the country. I've been just for, for hate speech, for jokes. 